Hello all, welcome to SourceCAD and in this tutorial I am going to look at modeling of 3D bulb. I will use the approximation method in this drawing so don't worry about the precision. Use the dimensions which I am using and you can use your own dimensions as well. First of all I will start with a circle with radius of 5 units. Now go to circle again and drag with 2 point circle. Drag the center, go a little bit downwards, click here and again drag that center, go down and click anywhere on the screen like this okay now go to tangent tangent radius circle click on this circle then this circle and enter the default value of radius you don't need to enter any value just press enter now go to trim and trim these extra lines which are indicated on the screen right now okay so now you have got the trim now make a line track the center go upwards and make a straight line a vertical one something like this now we need to again go to trim tool and trim all the remaining portion which is no longer required I think uh, we need to delete this one also so it delete it okay now let's go to line tool again and make a line like this go to trim and again trim all the remaining lines okay so we have the profile of half bulb complete here now join it so select them and click on join tool now it's joined to a single polyline now we are going to revolve it so go to revolve select this profile enter and click on any of the two points on this line and press enter the default value of 360 degree for rotation angle has been selected now and now let's move ahead okay, so we will now make the base of this bulb so I'll use polyline for this track the center and click on this point somewhere close to that you don't need to be precise as I already told you now make a profile like this track the center point click here okay and close this loop make sure this loop is completely closed now again go to revolve select this profile enter and click on any of the two points on this line and press enter Now let's have a look at it in the 3D view. So for that let's click on this home icon and here's the 3D view. Make it more clear using the visual style shaded and now you can see the drawing more clearly. Okay so here we have our model. Now we need to make other features of this drawing. So before that I'll go to this face and select this face and press enter now let's go to helix tool click on the center here and enter a radius of 1.5 units this is an approximate value so I'm entering both the radius 1.5 number of turns here T for turns 5 and now as you can see that helix is going down so I need to enter a value in negative way so I need to enter a negative value for the height of helix because the helix is going down and I need to make it upwards so I'll enter a value a negative value and this value is also approximate so this is coming something around 3 so I'll use minus 2.5 okay so now here we have now make a circle again of radius 0.25 units so here we have the a helix and a circle now go to sweep tool select the circle press enter and select the helix okay so here you will find this coiled profile after going through all these steps now we need to subtract these two profiles so go to solid editing and subtract tool select this central object and then the sweep and press enter so here we have the threaded profile for this bulb Okay, so we are done with this okay so what next let's make this bulb transparent now so for making it transparent I'll go to layers select the layer property manager this window will pop up and here let's make two more layers I'll color one of the layers with the yellow color preferably okay and let's apply transparency so go to transparency and apply a transparency of 70 units and press ok ok 
so here now assign this object to layer 1 and deselect it and click on TPY show high transparency on the status toggle so now this glass is a little bit transparent now let's turn this off or you can just freeze it also because we don't need it right now and we'll make another feature of it okay so we are done with this up to this point of time and now let's make a shell of it so click on shell click on icon and enter a shell offset thickness of 0.5 so here we have the shell you can select any other thickness value if you want so you don't need to be exact in this case also now let's go to this coordinate and now I've selected this face as an XY plane so I'm changing the coordinate to make my current face as XY now let's unfreeze it and freeze the layer which I have frozen earlier and I'll make another profile the filament and internal profile of this bulb so I'll use polyline for that and make a profile something like this I haven't frozen this uh, bulb so as to give you an idea and picture of how long this profile is going to be carefully just make this thing similar to what I'm drawing here right now okay let's click here uh, this seems okay now let's track that point and okay so here we have a complete closed loop now go to sweep uh, revolve tool and now let's go to revolve revolve select this profile enter and click on any of the points two points on this line and press enter okay so here we have this profile okay you can see it clearly here now I'll change this view to XY so click on view and this one is changed to XY now make a rectangle something like this you can turn this or snap off if it's annoying or if it is snapping at points which you don't require so make a rectangle something like this now orbit it and let's extrude this rectangle so let's go to extrude tool here select the rectangle press enter now extrude it completely like this okay now I'll intersect it intersect both the profile so select this profile this profile and press enter now we have the intersected profile here now all we need to do is make a filament that's all we need to make everything has been made so let's start with the filament again select view in our coordinates now this coordinate is aligned to our view now let's make these filaments okay I'm using this as a reference you can make it at somewhere else also but it is better if you use it at this place only let's make this now go to mirror select this make selection cycling on so that you accidentally avoid selecting any other feature which you don't require you can turn O snap on if you need now now click on the center marker here it's showing now click anywhere upwards or downwards and here is the mirror I think you're aware with the mirror tool so you all need to do is just apply a mirror to this drawing to this uh, particular feature now as you can see that it's not lying at the place where I want so I'll select both the features so both the lines I'll select and I'll move it now go to move and move it to a point on this so for that I can track the central O snap yeah the central O snap can be tracked okay and click on any of the point any of the desirable point here it seems perfect okay now here we have it so as you can see that I am just manipulating it in the complete 3d view there is no need to be accurate now let's go to three point arc and make an arc 
and here you have now the filament is also complete and now we need to add a thickness to this but before adding thickness I'll join both the uh, all the three profiles so these two lines and the arc select them all go to join tool and here we have all the three profiles connected now make a circle with the radius of 0.1 unit and go to sweep tool select the circle enter and now select this profile and here we have a thickness added to our filament okay now all we need to do is move it to the center of this bulb but these three are different objects so I'll first join them all for joining them all you need to group them but let's give it a color to clearly distinguish from each other okay so now you can see that these two are different object so select them and go to group and click on group now these two objects are now temporarily joined to each other now go to move click on the center or snap marker and uh, we need to orbit it I think okay no here's the point so snap on this point so we are done with this if you want you can move it upwards a little bit if not you can leave it here also if you need to manipulate just select it and use this gizmo if the gizmo does not appear go to this move gizmo which I'm showing on the screen right now so this will appear click on this arrow and move it upwards a little bit and here we have the complete bulb I hope you liked it and as always thanks for watching